Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Simon the Watch Guy. You are looking at the Seiko King Turtle. Now, I'm going to try to zoom in. Look just beneath the six, and you'll see indeed that this is the Made in Japan version. So, if you want to get this watch, this is the version to get, in my opinion. Uh, this is supposed to be where the best quality Seikos are when they say Made in Japan. Now, does it line up? I would say it just about does. Um, but I don't think it's completely flush. Um, I don't think it's completely flush. If you look at the top here, it just looks as if it's skew with over to the left hand side ever so slightly can you see that that's probably the best angle for me to show you that and then if you look from this angle you can see that the bezel is not quite aligned now i think for a dive watch and i think especially at this price point i used to be that guy who cut seiko some slack but i can't justify it i can't justify it guys i look at other watches out there in this price range and if you look at that, man, if you look at it, I I just can't, I just can't justify it. Why is it out of alignment? Um, you know, it, it's, it's highly frustrating. It's highly frustrating that Seiko do everything right in terms of the case shape. The, the, it feels quite a weighty watch. Um, but, you know, simple, well, seemingly simple things like alignment that other brands you just take for granted. You see, if you look again now, it just it just looks off, doesn't it, the, the bezel? And this is the made in Japan version. So, honestly, my friends, I think I can tell you from the outset, I will probably sell this one. I am on the lookout for a dive watch. One of the biggest mistakes I ever made, I think, in, just in terms of dive watches... I think the Citizen NY0040 is one of the best dive watches. And of course, the Golden Tuner that I purchased two or three times on this channel, sold it each time. Obviously now it's uh, no longer in production, so I just cannot get hold of it for a reasonable price. Um, as always, sellers online are trying to sell it for three or four times the price of retail. But yeah, I, I am not sure what to think about this one, guys. I, I love the design of it. I think the design is absolutely fantastic. Bracelet, quite rattly, feels very cheap. It's the pin and collar system, which I really don't like. I'm, I'm not a fan of the bracelet. Uh, push button deployment is okay. You do have some micro adjustments. I do long for the day when watch manufacturers will just have a sliding um a sliding clasp and, and and kind of lock system because i just think that's so much better so so much more elegant um i won't go too much into the movement there's, there's reviews out there if anyone wants an actual proper review of this watch there are videos out there that do that i'm just not convinced that this is worth the money that's my honest take on it uh, the chances are I will sell this and I will remain on the hunt for a dive watch. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Let's see what ends up happening. Let's see what I end up with. But I think for me, for this watch not to align at the, the, the cost of this watch, it, it, it really makes me sceptical of buying another Seiko. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think... Seiko's quality control, it's been hit and miss for quite a while now. Um, and so I'm in two minds, you know, do I just go get the Citizen NY0040 or do I go ahead and do I just take the plunge, no pun intended, and, and, and buy the Golden Tuner and hope that that arrives aligned. The problem with quartz watches is they, they generally, the second hand, sometimes it doesn't hit all the markers, especially on a Seiko um, so I, I, I kind of prefer the automatics for that reason. Um, 
But then, you know, then with again with a Seiko, then you end up with a misaligned chapter ring, or uh, you know, the bezel doesn't quite it doesn't quite fit in place. So, ah, uh, man, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the watch? Have you ever looked into one of these? What do you think about the controversial um, day date with the, the the kind of elongated Cyclops? I would really love to hear your opinions in the in the channel in the comment section. Sorry, what what do you guys think of the misalignment? Like I say, if I spin this round just to kind of prove the point. And it does have a nice action on it. The action's not too bad. If I spin this round. Yeah, it's never, it never, you've got to almost push it over. It never quite sits, it never quite sits flush. It's always ever so slightly off, but it's one of those things where it looks like it's okay. It looks like it's okay, but depending on the angle you look at it from, and like I say, because if you see here, there's an extra kind of click. Let me just show you that one more time. If I precisely bring it round right there, that's where it clicks in. And that's where it's slightly off. You see how that's slightly off, guys? And so if you try to turn it, if you try to turn it back, it's actually, it's actually a little bit loose. And then if you turn it to the left again, it's completely off. It's just, it's completely off. I mean, completely. So you would have to, uh, if you if you were sticking with this watch, if you decided not to sell this, if you got this exact watch, you, you, it's just, you can't, you can't align the damn thing. Um, oh man, I've never been so disappointed. I, <laughs> I, I've got to say until Seiko fix their misalignment issues, I think I am going to refrain from buying anything else from the brand. Um, anyway, my, my friends, let me know what you think, and uh, we will speak soon. Take care. Bye-bye.